Welcome back to the Rub Rabbits. Today we will finish Rochambeauing and also begin Rochambeauing. It's a pretty long Rochambeau. So for those not in the know, Rochambeau is rock, paper, scissors. However, it also involves you going into the hyper Rochambeau dimension, where you have a robotic announcer refereeing you, basically, and uh, a very good song playing in the background. And whenever you lose in Rochambeau, you get banished into the Rochambeau dimension, never to leave. Luckily, our character has special mind-reading powers while in the Rochambeau dimension, and you can use that to your advantage, although the mind bubbles go by pretty quickly, and sometimes the people themselves are indecisive of what they want to go with, so sometimes there's still a fair amount of guessing. Luckily, you do have free chances, so there is a bit of a room for error, although in harder modes, uh, you tend to only have one, which is more irritating than anything else. Things are going pretty fast. Don't be intimidated by these guys. They all pick the same thing. Our final opponent is the most powerful, as he does not allow us to uh, read his mind. So this time you really do have to guess. Luckily, he only knows how to curl his hand into a fist. It's kind of like a weakness. So once you've realized that, he's not much of an issue. We're at the final leg of getting her attention. Let's not screw it up. This is the shortest minigame ever. You have to move the shadow while she's looking at fireworks. And fireworks stay up for a pretty long time. Just make sure she doesn't see you, or else you'll look like a creep. I'll see you next time.